Okay, so let's give an overview of the subsystems of the rocket Birkeland. To minimize uh, drag during supersonic flight, the airframe follows the von Karman Orgiv. The airframe is composed out of two halves, the forward and the aft airframe. These sections are made out of fiberglass and carbon fiber, made with a production method called filament winding, as we can see here. Now for the inside. When a rocket reaches apogee, the Estrad pressure-based separation system initiates, pressurizing the recovery bay, breaking the share pins, allowing the rocket to separate. <laughs> this separation allows for drogue shoot deployment, uh, and the system is reusable in its entirety. The main chute release system is a lock and release system developed by Propulse NTNU. It consists of two docking plates acting as an attachment point for a set of release arms, as well as both parachutes. The main purpose of the payload experiment is to measure the vibrations of the rocket and find ways to dampen them. The study will be to test the effects of moon gel as a vibration dampener. The two IMUs will be mounted in parallel, one with moon gel and one without. The CFD has shown that both the tapering of the boat tail and the fins are great for supersonic flight. We ended up with a trapezoidal shape for the fins, not only for the aerodynamic properties, but also for reducing the probability of breakage from touchdown. First of all, I am very proud of the team and the achievements and results they have gained throughout these eight months. That is very limited time in contrast with the 14 months that we had last year with uh, Stettin. In one way, it has been quite stressful. but also very rewarding you know, to see the development of the members and also us in the board and the project itself. Mm -hmm.